Hello again. I haven't posted a review for a little while because I live here in the, the UK where the weather isn't terribly clement. Um, and most of my gadgets are not practical for use outdoors, either because they're too bulky, like a VR headset, <coughs> or because they're not waterproof, like most of the glasses and things um, that I've got. So today um, I want to uh, do a very quick introduction to uh, a new pair of smart glasses. As uh, you'll know if you've seen any of my other videos, um, I love my tech. I'm not, a, I'm, I'm not an expert in any way. I love my gadgets. I'm an IT person by trade. Um, but um, I do like my gadget and I've got all sorts of stuff, VR headsets, AR, MR. I won't bother going through all of those um, if you're interested in working out what is what. Um, I posted a video that explains all about what those things are. Um, so today uh, my plan is to give you a very quick review on these things. These are the frame, not frames, the frame from uh, Brilliant Labs. Uh, in case you're wondering, by the way, unless you think you want to look like Groucho Marx, the little thing on the front, is the, what they call it, Mr. Power, the little orange thing, uh, but that's the charger. Um, pleased to say that it actually has, not that you can easily see it, I'm sure, but a standard USB-C connector, whereas something like, that I've already reviewed these, these are my Ray-Ban smart glasses, have a bespoke um, connector, which connects, in this case, to the charging case, so a um, bit of a bummer if you lose that, whereas this hopefully, I mean, if you lose the orange thing you've had it, it is magnetically attached. Anyway, these things are AI glasses, same as the Ray-Ban, AI, artificial intelligence. A um, couple of things to say, um, these are not the same as the Ray-Bans. Uh, the Ray-Bans are, I would say, a consumer product, they're designed for the likes of uh, most people like me, that just want to, you know, take a few pictures, ask a few questions uh, without having to resort to your phone. By the way, all of these, unlike a VR headset, do require a companion app. So I've already discussed what the Meta um, one is, so that's MetaView. These use a thing called NOAA, N-O-A, for their intelligence side of things. Um, these vary in a couple of ways too from things like the Ray-Bans. Firstly, they have no speakers. These are actually batteries, not speakers. They're uh, designed to give the, uh, the glasses a good uh, amount of power. Um, they claim all day, but I, I suspect a few hours. The little clip will charge them, so basically once that's charged up, you can just keep those, like the case for the um, Ray-Bans, that will keep the glasses charged. Not sure for how long. These are relatively new and really not that well known. There's plenty of videos about the Ray-Bans, very few about these um, online. Um, I should also point out that I ordered these months ago uh, and there's been a delay because of lack of uh, parts. I think, the, the, I'll explain, but there's a little screen on there. I don't think they could source them particularly uh, for a while. But anyway, I've got them on Monday. Today is uh, uh, Friday, rather. The today is Sunday, so I haven't had much experience with using them, but I've tried them. Uh, first things first, these are um, AI glasses. The AI on these is not tied to any specific AI model as such. So with the uh, Ray-Bans, you have to use their Meta AI. With these, they use different models. So um, I think they're currently using uh, Chat GPT, but I understand that you can set these to work with all sorts of different AI models, which gives you a bit more flexibility. A lot of um, sales that they're selling these to are for people that are designing, creating, developing AI apps. So again, it's quite a different market really to, to those. Um, I already alluded upon it, but there's a little screen. It's a tiny little screen, and if I'm perfectly honest, having tried it, it's not easy to keep in view. It's a very small screen, and I don't think you're going to be able to see it on there, but it's just a little um, uh, OLED, OLED screen, um, and its field of vision isn't particularly good. Um, they do help with certain things. So, for example, they provide two of these. I'm not sure you can see them that well, um, but these are nose pieces magnetically attached to the glasses, um, so they help to lift or lower the... Um, the glasses on your nose, uh, which does help a little bit, otherwise it's a matter of shifting them up and down. Uh, so 
to use them you pull off the little charger and you put them on and now turn instantly into some high-tech Harry Potter and there's a little screen that's sitting in front of me at this moment in time it's telling me it's connecting or hasn't connected to the NOAA app if you can see that uh, the NOAA app running on my phone there is what you use to uh, control it um, and basically it's again slightly different with the Ray-Bans I can voice control these this thing you've got a little tap on the side that it's annoying I find the first tap wakes the glasses up the second tap comes up with a little microphone so it allows you to speak so you can do all sorts of things the one thing I loved about these Ray-Bans loved being the operative word is the look and tell it could see both of these have a camera in it could look at something so for example if I was looking at a plant I could ask the Ray-Bans to tell me what the plant was or if I was looking at a historic building or, or even more practically looking at a menu maybe in a foreign language that could work for some reason um, Ray-Ban Meta they've removed that from UK users of, of late I believe it's to do with legislation this doesn't have that limitation so um, these are more practical to use at the moment because of that uh, option but it will look at things and it will describe it now bear in mind as I've said these are not um, speakers so your information comes up in the NOAA app as text or you can get it to uh, if you turn the phone up you get to get out the speakers or obviously you can put some earbuds or headphones in if you want to do them um, so really the main difference is that screen and it puts them up visually so you're going to get text um, the uh, app I'm using is on Android and I'm told these were originally developed for or with um, the Apple uh, architecture in mind and I don't think the Android app has caught up yet so uh, for example um, you're able on the demo that they showed which was on an Apple phone to set tone so you can ask it to be you know frivolous serious um, talk to you like you know a personality if you like so you can build upon it i haven't got that in the android app as yet i have actually written to brilliant labs to ask them if that's going to be a future release also this is currently just text coming up in the um eyepiece but the demos that i've seen online they show you for example i've got a big gray couch there over this side of the room um there that you could go and say right show me what that would look like if it was in red or blue um show me what the room would look like if the walls were painted a different color so there, there are some very useful features but that they don't seem to be available as yet the other thing that i find very annoying is that um the ray-bans currently you, you can use the ai it doesn't seem to have a a problem with you using it regularly um, with these you have a limit a credit limit so basically when you get this you have what's called a, well and these came with what's called a welcome tier I understand that there's going to be a charge they haven't announced the charges yet for these but um, you get 2,000 credits so I think well 2,000 credits that sounds all right so the first thing I did when I put these glasses on was just ask Noah to tell me about itself so it did a little bit you know explain what it does and you know a few features not very much not particularly um you know a great deal of detail and then when i checked that one inquiry it cost me 11 credits so i don't know and again i've written to um, brilliant labs to find out exactly how they charge those credits um, but literally i've asked maybe i'd say six seven questions basic questions which is very good you know asked it to translate a sign that was in german it perfectly did that takes it a few seconds and again please bear in mind these things because they're self-contained um, they haven't really got a lot of intelligence in so you need an app so unlike a vr headset which got everything built in really um, these things need the app so the NOAA app goes off finds out that information you get a little thing coming up on the screen in front of you sorry I can't show you the, the screen but again I think there are um, if you look on YouTube there are people that have managed to screen dump it so that takes it I don't know five seconds four seconds something like that which is you know seems like a long time to be honest but that's the way it is and of course you've got to have a, uh, an internet signal to use them uh, and then it will come back with that information for you and you can carry on doing it but I find the fact that you've got to tap once to, to wake the glasses up tap a second time to talk tap a third time when you're finished 
it's a bit of a pain. With these, I just ask it. I just say, hey, Meta, and then just ask it a question, and it does it. Um, also, the other thing annoying, it's got a camera in it. I already alluded to that. Um, doesn't actually take pictures or video um, as such. Uh, I'm told that it, because the glasses are what they call, or the, the application is what they call open source, which means it makes it very easy for developers to do things. There are people that are obviously hacking it, for want of a better word, so you could do that. But at the box, uh, the box, by the way, uh, that's the box, uh, tiny little thing, uh, comes uh, with um, a case. So you get a, a little case with it. <laughs> Show you the case. Um, no cleaning cloth, which I think is a bit stingy because these cost I think, about £370, £380. Um, two nose clips and a little um, card, and that's about a lot. Although, in fairness, the NOAA app, once you've paired it, you have to pair it off with the glasses. That does give you a lot of information. So, um, I haven't really had a chance to use these things yet. Um, I'm sure they're not the fashion statement that everybody wants. Um, if you compare like for like, I guess... Um, it's not to everybody's taste. These Ray-Bans look exactly the same as the standard Ray-Bans. These, well, as I say, you, if you want to do a Harry Potter cosplay, they'd work, I'm sure. Um, I still like them. I'm still working out what the hell I'm going to do with them. Um, and I think they are still being developed. In fairness, the little card that comes with it says, you know, we're not perfect. We're working on it. We're building upon what we've done. Um, and they've built, I mean, these are the next generation. They did something called the monocle, which as the name suggests, just the one. Instantly, there is only one screen here. Um, I'm not, <laughs> I'm almost blind in the left eye. So if it would be the other way around, these would have been no use to me whatsoever. If you are, um, if you have sight issues or you're blind, these, as indeed uh, those, are absolutely brilliant because they can explain so much that you're looking at what the glasses are looking at. Um, and these go really, you know, I mean, for example, it can look at a menu, great, and then you can ask it how many calories there, could you recommend, a, you know, an appropriate wine to go with it. So these are fascinating, and you learn a lot. Um, you could really cheat at a quiz if you wanted to do that. I wouldn't do it. Plus, you either have to be seeing doing that or talking to your glasses. So I think you might be sus, so don't do it. Um, these, by the way, when you use the camera, have a, a lens um, light that comes out. Since these aren't enabled and I, I don't see any lights, I assume that that isn't going to be an issue. Having said that, privacy laws aside, um, I, I like the fact that they built the light in. Personally, a lot of people hate it, but uh, I'm not a pervert. I want to um, record things, but I'm not going to do it um, surreptitiously. Um, you know, I, I'll, I'll record things when I'm out and about, like I would when I was on a mobile phone. But um, but these don't do it as yet, and I don't think the quality of the... Of the um, camera is as good. I mean, said that, the Ray-Bans, the camera's on the left-hand side, which means that whenever you have learned, whenever you take pictures or video, you have to sort of lean over at one side to do it. The camera here appears to be in the middle of the, the, uh, the uh, glasses, so that should be better. Anyway, the short video that I made is now a very long one, so I'm going to stop for now, and I will do an update properly on these once I've had a chance to really use them. Um, and you can buy them online and uh, as I say it's from Brilliant Labs but do a bit of research see if they're your sort of thing because these won't suit everybody um, but that's it thanks again for watching the video please look at some of my other videos please share it please subscribe um, and um, have fun with your gadgets